Hello guys, this is Rehan and today we are going to talk about a very important issue affecting visa requiring IMGs these days. It's the fact that ECFMG is gonna convert USML step 1 into a pass fail instead of the 3 digit score that we are so used to seeing. So is it a good news for visa requiring international medical graduates or a bad news? So let's find out. Let's start with the bad news first. So I think the most uh, influential aspect of this news is that uh, uh, we'll lose the high score, high step one score that was so crucial for us to get into a residency program because it, it it made us authentic in the eyes of program director. Let's suppose a person has a 250 plus in USMLE step one, so program director uh, subconsciously thinks that this person is really authentic and is up to date with the new concepts and is uh, really uh, productive and is, uh, has good testing capabilities so ultimately this used to help IMGs but with the loss of the three digit score now don't, we don't have that advantage with us also then uh, now there will be less focus on scores and more focus on the candidate's CV during the interview process which means that people uh, will now have to build their CV and polish it so that they are more desirable for a certain program per se. Uh, also there will be more focus on research now because uh, uh, with the absence of step one score program directors will ultimately look for publications and case reports and that sort of stuff and uh, um, I think mostly IMGs are not geared towards research they're more geared towards the clinical aspect of medicine and I think it will hurt IMGs very badly if uh, pass fail score a pass fail system is implemented another thing is that now there will be more need for good rotations in uh, good hospitals and these rotations are already very costly but uh, uh, when the step one will convert to pass fail, these rotations will be become even harder to get, and now it will be impossible to get these ro rotations, and they're already very expensive. So expenses will ultimately increase, thus hurting IMGs even more. Now, lastly, there will be more emphasis on letter of recommendations, not only the content of letter of recommendations, but also who wrote it. For example, uh, a letter written by a chair of medicine will be of immense value as compared to say a doctor from a small clinic or a doctor from a community hospital and a letter of recommendations from medicine chairs are really hard to get so uh, this will also hurt IMGs. Lastly, I think people with famous renowned medical schools such as King Edward Medical School from Pakistan, for example, will have a certain advantage over people from lesser known medical schools because most of the alumni from these colleges are performing really well as residents and program director will ultimately decide to trust these medical schools and will recruit mostly people from these schools as compared to people from uh, lesser known medical schools because PDs don't want to take a chance with lesser known medical schools and uh, now that we uh, we don't have the step one scoring criteria I think this will be a very crucial factor in selection of residents but as with everything there is a good news with this as well So the good news is that no more step one psychosis. I mean, IMGs used to stress so much about getting a perfect score. Now they won't have to stress that much. They just need to pass the exam. So no more countless nights and days spent in the pursuit of a 250 plus. You, you can just study enough that you pass comfortably. And uh, as less time will be consumed in cramming useless unnecessary bookish stuff more time will be uh, given to research projects and case reports and publications and ultimately it will help the medical community because now more people will look to innovate and explore research and uh, this will benefit uh, medical community uh, highly And uh, last thing is that uh, 
all applicants will be equal in ter terms of scores because there is no scoring so there will be no discrimination based on scoring and PDs will look at the interview skills at the CV and other stuff to evaluate or assess a resident and I think that's very good news especially for people who have already taken their exams and have low step one scores I think this is really really good news for that them I think uh, a verdict um, Nobody knows, but we'll know for sure when it is implemented in 2022. I think it's too early at this point to speculate, but based on the above stated facts, I think IMGs are at a loss here. So yeah, apparently it looks like IMGs at a loss in all this because they'll lose the one thing the PDs used to uh, use to evaluate, right? Uh, as always, guys, support me on Patreon. Link is in the description box. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much.